How's it going everybody? Yeah, I wanted to uh, show you a new holster that I picked up. Actually I got two of them. Um, it's this style of holster right here. It's kind of like the Crossbreed, the Galco King Tuck, what have you. There's a myriad of brands of holsters that have this style. One thing that's very different about this is what it's made out of. You can see right here, this stuff is like a hard plastic or a hard a kydex or something. Kind of looks like a window screen type material. Okay, it's not it's not leather like your typical quote unquote hybrid holster is. This has a padded back on it. Very, very padded right in here. And because this is that nylon type material, it's very pliable. Therefore, this holster is extremely comfortable to wear. I picked up one for my Glock 26, which will also obviously work for the Glock 27. I also got one for the Glock 42. These are made by Stealth Gear. American made, you know, quality, longevity, and all that kind of stuff, who's to say? I don't know. Um, I've only had these holsters for approximately two weeks. Time will tell on that. But these do have the adjustable belt hooks here. It has three adjustments. Right now it is set on the center for the depth. I need to clean my viewfinder. But you got another one right here, you got here, and you got one here. So you do have three. The way it come from Stealth Gear is just like this, and it says perfectly the way I like it inside of my inside my waist on my belt. Uh, one thing, as you probably know, if you you know buy these hybrid type holsters, the majority of them, like the Galco King Tuck, come with an open bottom. So if I buy this for my Glock 26, which this is a, okay, this is a Glock 9mm or 40 cal holster, okay? You can put in a Glock 26, you can put in a 27, a 23, a 17, a 19, because you're not going to be limited by your slide and barrel length because this bottom, where it comes out, is open. So if you have one of the other firearms, this is a Glock 26 here, and it's longer right here, well it doesn't matter, because it can come right on out. Well, the stealth gears are closed on the bottom. Okay, they're somewhat open, but as you can see, they bullnose over right here, and th these are not built nor designed to have the firearm slide, i.e. barrel, a protrude past the end. So that's something to be aware of because whenever I was ordering this, I did not know this. You know, I was like, well, I'll get one for the Glock 26 and then I can, you know, if I want to put my 23 or my 17 or my 19 or whatever in there, I can do it and it'll just protrude out the end. Nope, not so fast. Not the way it works. But that's okay. That's all right. Uh, let's see, the Glock 42, I'll show you a little bit about the fit here, clicks in nicely, the gun's not going to shake out, and as you know also, whenever you put this on your body, and it's bending around, you have your belt, and you suck your belt down, that helps with retention some. Although it won't help as much with this, because this is much more flexible. Okay, it gives more, where with a leather one, whenever you suck that down, that leather is not as forgiving. So whenever you pull it around with your belt, going through there, it's going to suck it down a little tighter. But even with no retention whatsoever, the firearm does not want to fall out. Sorry for that, I just whacked the camera, I think. 
this right here fully loaded and we're not one in the chamber Glock 26 you know so it does have a really nice fit but I do man get a little concerned with the sliding in and out what's that gonna do to this material here but I'll, I'll tell you because of this design is very comfortable it's very lightweight and it does breathe I mean you can see you know leather you know that's why they, they sell the horse hide holsters because they're the horse hide holds up to sweat and moisture better than cowhide does this holster here allows your skin your body to breathe unlike leather so I, I really dig it this is in this style holster the most comfortable one I've ever worn and it's also the most expensive one I've ever bought these holsters right here are a hundred bucks 99 99 or 99 98 or whatever you might as well say a hundred dollar bill so they're not cheap but uh, I wanted to try them out obviously they're they're American made and uh, I just wanted to share them with you I haven't heard hadn't heard anything about stealth gear so I was watching a video and the holster brand was mentioned in passing and I was like, oh, I'll check them out. I just went to the website, checked them out, and was like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try a couple of those. So that's what I done. The typical, whatever these things are called here, way to attach these. Galcos is a little different, but I've had, I think maybe the Colster holster attaches like this I don't remember I know I've seen this style attachments before but uh, I wear a, a, a bull hide leather belt they're very thick these clips go over that belt and my jeans and everything just fine I was kind of concerned about that because that right there didn't look to be very very wide but uh, as it turns out not an issue so I've babbled enough if you guys are interested you can check them out at stealth gear see what you think maybe do some uh, research other videos people that have owned them longer see what they're saying about them thanks for watching appreciate the views y'all take care we'll see you